many of us identify Christmas with Tasha Tudor and Tasha Tudor with Christmas. She brought to a completely new generation an understanding and love of the Christmas season with her illustrations and her songs, her poems, her stories and her activities. Not only in her Christmas book, but in Forever Christmas, where she shared her love of crafts. Christmas being a time for giving and making gifts. And she took her creed at Christmas. I salute you, there is nothing I can give you which you have not, but there is much that while I cannot give you, you can take. No heaven can come to us unless our hearts find rest in it today. Take heaven. The gloom of the world is but a shadow behind it, yet within our reach is joy. Take joy. Now I'd like you to just stop for a minute and subscribe before we go any further. Please, that would be such a help to me. And I do have a Patreon um, site now set up if you're interested in in-depth craft, arts, ideas, all sorts of creativity. So today I'm going to take joy and I hope you will too be inspired in this Christmas decoration. I started with backstitch to outline the letters and then overcast the lettering in uh, various colours of DMC in order to give it a variegated feel. I used bouillon stitch. Five of them here. And I devised a little fern stitch. I made them into three into a little group and you'll see in the subsequent video clips how I built up the design keeping it pretty much balanced. I devised stars, that's a little spider web and a straightforward six-pointed star. I really enjoyed doing this so I just relaxed and played around a little. Added red beads. I use Mill Hill beads and I added little gold beads to the centre of the stars. That doesn't come out very much in the photograph but in reality they really do sparkle and add a focal point now ribbon, I have a selection of ribbon. The red was a bit too red and the white was too heavy. The gold I felt was rather heavy too. And so I chose the much lighter chiffon, gold chiffon. And I, I um, tacked around it and drew it into a ruffle. Now my method of EPP without the P, you take our non-facing interfacing, press it with a cloth onto the back, reverse side of the, of the front of the decoration, and then iron down the folds. And there's the, the two parts, the front and the part of the decoration with the interfacing. hexagon shape. I uh, stitched the ruffle onto the back and I also added that little leaf design onto the back just to add a little bit of decoration. 
This is all hand sewn, of course, and the front will fit on snugly. Just stitched it round and I stuffed it with mountain mist and I'm very pleased with the result and I really hope that you might have a go and take joy in preparing for Christmas. This uh, could hang on its own or on the tree. Please do subscribe to me, it's such a help if you do. And perhaps join, consider joining Patreon. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.